And this is something that I bet a lot of people would always want to dream. There are always some dream matches that we wish happened at WrestleMania, but never did. <clears throat> I wanted to see Hogan versus Flair at WrestleMania. Yes. Never yep. happened. I don't know why it didn't happen. Instead, we got Macho Man versus Flair, which was fine, and Hogan versus Sid in what would have been Hogan's last match at the WWF. But for some odd reason, I don't know why they didn't go go with this, you finally have these two guys in the same company. Yes, you got them feuding, but why not have them in the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania? I agree with you completely on that, because if you think about it, when Flair was in the WWF, winning the Royal Rumble in 92, which was the first and only time the WWF Championship was on the line in the Royal Rumble, you could have gone with that. Because let's take a look at 80s wrestling. The two biggest names, the two names that defined 1980s generation of wrestling was Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair. Complete yeah. dream match, bar none. Bar none. Like Mike Mito, like were there any matches you wish you could have watched at WrestleMania that never happened? Uh, a lot of good dream matches that I wanted to see at WrestleMania, like the first one, Hogan and Flair. Um, another one that I wanted to see, um, that I wanted to see pretty much would, to me, would put the world title behind and would have boost the girls. I would have loved to see Lita and Trish in the main event of WrestleMania because they did so very well main event in that Monday Night Raw. But if they would have done it right at Mania, that would have boosted the women's division like crazy. With having those two young ladies going at it at WrestleMania in the main event, putting the world title to the side, putting it as a cold main event, and putting that women's title match at the main event, I would have been I would have been just like, wow, look at this. You got Trish, you got Lita. They put on a hell of a fight. Yeah, that never happened at WrestleMania, huh? Damn. I think it nope. actually did. Uh, I want to say, oh, God. Uh, oh, man, now, now you're here. Well, Alita I don't remember it either. Mike, no. I've seen them event for Raw, but that's about it. But yeah. with Lita, and... yeah, they made evented Raw that one wrong. Yep. But they could, that could have been a WrestleMania match right there. I agree. Oh, with that would have been whoo, built that match up and everything with it. Oh man, that would have been a dream match for me, actually. <clears throat> any others for you, Miner? Uh, any... uh, no, I don't think there would been any good dream matches that would I would think of. That would have been good for me. Yeah. How about you, Haley? Um, this is a popular one. Um, obviously, I can't stand the guy, but The Rock versus Shawn Michaels. Oh, yeah. Um, I think it would would not only would have been a great build-up, I think that it would have been a great match, too. Obviously, you got two great workers. Um and even if Rock, obviously, even if it uh, happened later down where Rock wasn't, obviously, he didn't have the best cardio or whatever, Shawn could have definitely carried him through that match because if you have a bad match with Shawn Michaels, there's something wrong with you. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Shawn can make me look good, so let's leave. <laughs> so, Josh, you were going to say something like some um, matches you had to see me stand oh. up. I've got a few that might get a pop out of you, Chris. Okay. <laughs> Let's go with modern generation right now. I would okay. love to see, as much as I can't stand her, AJ Lee versus Lita. Yes. Ooh. Because AJ yes. was inspired by Lita. Let's let him go. So there that's go. one. That's definitely past the, past the torch match right there. Exactly. <clears throat> I can also take Austin versus Hogan. Ooh. That's mm -hmm. one that I'd love to see. Interesting. Or because of the fact, I know we want to see Austin versus CM Punk, but I actually don't want to see that. I have a completely no. different one. Oh. Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Randy Orton. The Rattlesnake Ooh. versus the Viper. Ooh. There you go. Oh. So you got to go with that one. Yeah. Hogan versus Flair would have loved to have seen it. There's another one that it's 
way past its prime, but if he was still able to do it, give me Dean Ambrose versus Jake the Snake Roberts. Yes. Oh man, them yeah. too. Then you put on a hell of a match. I'll throw on two others: Undertaker versus Sting, which we're probably gonna get. I'm hoping. Mm-hmm. And give me yeah. Savage versus Shawn Michaels. Yeah, that never happened. Ooh. That would be that would just amazing to watch. If I could pick one, and I'll I'll even leave Undertaker versus Sting out of it. If I could only have one, give me Austin and give me Orton. There you go. That would be, that'd be the one I want to see. Give me Austin and Orton. The rest of them, leave them where they are. Just give me that one, and I'll go home happy. I really like the um, Austin versus Hogan choice because when you look at Austin and Hogan, they are two of the most biggest icons in professional wrestling, but polar opposites. We have one who was the white meat baby face, say your prayers, eat your vitamins, and one who is anti-establishment, anti-authority, but the fans love him. What was it? The foul mouth, beer swilling, finger gesturing, toughest son of a bitch. Right. Yep. Like, it, it was like yin and yang those two. I'll actually add to that because you went basically from Hulkamania to Austin 316. You had the 80s that were defined. Let's, let's put it this way, and Chris, I hope this actually adds to your point and you can agree with it. 80s were defined by Hogan. 90s were defined... Yep. By Austin. This generation is defined by John Cena. So, actually, you know what? I thought of another one. Let's do this. John Cena versus Hulk Hogan. It would be a shit fest, but you have the two... Uh, Yeah, I I definitely disagree. You have the the two (laughs) memes that if people said Hulk Hogan, you knew it was was, uh, wrestling. Oh, that's the thing that Hulk Hogan does. Wrestling, oh, that's the thing that John Cena does. The two biggest, Hogan and Cena... And there you go. Because you have the two poster boys of professional wrestling. Two true, you know, yeah, Rock and Hogan was great. But Rock didn't have the level. And even at his peak, Rock couldn't compete with Austin for popularity. Rock could not compete with Cena for popularity. So it really would be, give me Cena and Hogan. And there's another one that you just, you'd have to see. If Hogan was healthier, then yeah. I would love to see that. Well, Hogan's apparently in training for one more match. Okay. Not that I really want to see that. You, mm. you know, you, you look at him, the wind blows wrong, he needs a new hip. So, come on. Yep. 